And then it's funny to see because now that it's, it's the in thing yeah. to have so and so featuring so and so. And then in brackets, produced by so-and-so because we made it a thing. Like, you had to say it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> God damn it. You, you had to say it was produced by us. THTC, the UK's leading ethical streetwear label. Organically grown and ethically built garments from hemp, organic cotton and other sustainable materials. 2019 is their 20th anniversary year. Join me with THTC as a Killer Keller podcast sponsor celebrating music, social activism, hemp and street culture. THTC, eco-fashion redefined since 1999. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast. As you can see, we're squeezed around a seat and for good fucking reasons. Good reasons <laughs> this table is meant to be small. It means we can get up close and personal the best way. <laughs> Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. Hold tight, all genres, all disciplines. This is street culture. Strictly, I'm your host, Killer Keller, beatbox and host of more. You know the deal. If you haven't, get involved. Share, share, and like. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We have the heavy trackers inside the place. Yeah. How are we, boys? Very good, good, man. good. Good. You've, uh, you got here early, and I had no idea. You, you, food connoisseurs or something? You just went to the best <laughs> Lebanese spot in town? Yeah. We saw the spot, and yeah. we were just like, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. It's yeah. the spot. What did you have? I had the fish, I had the salmon, man. Mm-hmm. Lamb kofti. You're no joking around here. <laughs> treating them, you know what I mean? The local area treating them with, uh, with love and uh, generosity of food divine. Um, for those of you who don't know about the heavy trackers and the business that they are a part of, uh, their legacy still continuing at this precise moment, killing it. Uh, Sweet Like is the new joint, but boys, you, like I say, this legacy is it's ridiculous. Like, it... All your favourite songs, basically, in the crime <laughs> genre. These are the ones, all right? Yeah. How's it... Right, I, there's so many, like, geeky questions for you. Like, all right, so oh, hang on in there. Um, but, yo, like, creatively, how did you guys get together? How did this formation happen? Oh, go on, you might as well. It's an organised mess, to be fair. But um, it started out, obviously, with, um, obviously, my little brother, my older brother. Mm-hmm was friends with him, they met up, decided doing um, production. Well, it all kicked off with um, a PS4 game, Music 2000. Yeah, PS2. PS2. Oh, PS2, not PS4, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. PS2, PS2 yeah. So that came about. We were obviously just fun of music, uh, fun of music, obviously, and then carried on from there from throughout the child, our childhood obviously going through college stages mm-hmm. having to save up money buying new computers mm-hmm. x y x y and z just to just lot. yeah mm-hmm. just for the love of it and eventually just became from a hobby to a profession oh yeah you know what it's it's a funny one isn't it because you collect stuff just by default for a thing you love you don't mm. realize that in the, the incurring cost of something yeah. you're just yeah. doing it you're following like a blind dream and blind ambition yeah and before you know it it's like you're kind of set up with a situation yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i think i think even with us like before before i think a lot of people know us from oh i wouldn't say a lot but from like the german whip days 2014 grime mm. 2.0 whatever mm-hmm. that, that time was called um but even before that we we were set up in terms of the equipment that we needed, mm. uh, the location, the the place where we we made music. So I remember when we had um, we had a publishing deal. Obviously, what you tend to do is take that stuff, go mm. buy your equipment. Mm. But we we had that. Like mm, we yeah. were self sufficient. Just you know, working a nine to five, mm. going to uni, using your uni money to to buy equipment yeah. and little things like that. So yeah, it was, yeah, it was weird, but weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you find a way, don't you? Yeah, oh, you always do. A little deal here and there. Yeah, <laughs> we, like we had. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but we bought something for a grand. It was like a, a mixer. Oh yeah, yeah, an yeah, yeah. Mixer. Yeah. I don't know how old we were then, but that was like the most I've we've ever paid for anything. Yeah. Like, I think one thousand two hundred. Oh, yeah. so what, like, what it's called? Uh, Digi Design. Yeah, Digi Design. Digi Double O Two yeah. for Pro Tools. I remember. Yeah. It. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, because I never forget that. Yeah. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably didn't even know how to use it fully, but yeah. it was like. 
when you go up in your in your craft, it's like, what's the next best thing? Yeah. You know, then you learn how to burn CDs, you learn how to do this, and you learn how to do that. But yeah, we got in, we're like, yeah, we're set, we're good to go. And far off, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because when you're on that journey, you think that there is an end goal. There really isn't an end goal. There you just got to keep developing and as, and the ebbs and flows of your, your creative career, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, there isn't. There isn't, I think recently as well I told Tank we was in studio I think that's been going on for about four years mm. and I, I keep saying to him yo there needs to be like a, a tool or software like where I could beatbox yeah. what I want to say like mm -hmm. if I want to do a melody I can do it with my mouth then the computer picks it up then if I want it to come out from a flute I'll pick flute or piano or whatever and Ooh. they literally told me was it, a couple of months ago he was yeah. like yeah there's something like that go on Dizzy Roscoe's page he's actually promoting something like that and it's literally that you take it, you beatbox, or or you do a sound, you do a, a piano sound, then you press piano, or you do brass, it comes up yeah. as that. You're but trying to make thing, me redundant or something? Yeah. Like <laughs> but my, yeah. yeah. but my, my <laughs> thing is, you're right, it never ends because it's like, okay, I need that. Yeah. Because then I could just make a beat yeah. with, with my own vocal cords mm. and then turn into something. But you're right, it, it's an endless journey, and with technology, it just keeps on... Picking up and picking Isn't that up. crazy? It's almost yeah, like you've smart. got to have an interest. You've got to have an interest yeah, yeah, in it to want to, or you yeah. want to learn. You know. Yeah. What's the what's the saying? Interesting people are interesting. <laughs> Interested people are interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's the yeah. one. Yeah. Keep, that the keep your ears to whatever is out there. The streets, technology, mm. and even worlds that you don't necessarily belong to, like the kind of stuff that we listen to or we watch. You know, when you're in studio, and um, that may not be your forte mm. or may not be what you're into but it's nice to see what's coming up what's hot what's yeah. the next thing for real you know so yeah 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 you gotta have an interest in that yeah, yeah of course this is that something of a forecast that you guys kind of applied early doors i mean i mean obviously meridian dan had his thing but mm. when german whip came out he mm. you know he removed himself from his region the original collective he just become his, this uh, his own entity yeah yeah, yeah. he actually uh, for my in my opinion with you guys as the conduit kind of that that resuscitation of like a new kind of energy to, to mm, grind yeah. kicked off yeah i think that was i think that was dope man it was a good That's, era as well yeah. i say era it's only like six years ago because we're in 2020 and german <laughs> whip came out i think april 2014 yeah. don't feel that long ago neither yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and like mm. all the stormsy stuff and so on but it was it was a good time um for music i would say for 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 the scene only because we had a, uh, so you had artists doing a lot of pop stuff, mm. um, and I'm I'm cool with that. By the way, get your coins. I don't, I don't care about that. Because <laughs> yeah. if you ain't doing, someone else gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so it was at the time where Wiley was doing things like I I I, which was a banger. I mm. thought it was a banger. Mm. But in terms of like grime itself, no one was. Yeah, yeah. Like that, and even yeah. even us, I, don't, I think we had other production. It yeah. just it just happened that people know us for grime, but. We did everything at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's an entry hole. Like, like, I know what you mean. You, you don't always want to be labelled as the the grime guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Because, 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 you know, that kind of it narrows your field. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. But uh, yeah, it's an entry hole. And the fact that you are able to, you know, garner so many awesome collaborations. Yeah, yeah. That um, that the Heavy Trackers album. That the that the one with the the blue the yeah, 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 Odyssey yeah. Odyssey. With the astronauts Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. we were sweating yeah. <laughs> the, and the <laughs> instrumental album sick as well by the way oh yeah because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't sleep on them when I'm an instrumental yeah. head okay know. cool but um yeah that album it had it had a lot of um it had a lot of underlining messages yeah <laughs> yeah to say the least and I really <laughs> felt that I was in, I like a, I like a narrative. Mm. I like I like I like a USP to a thing. Yeah. So when you you know talking about the industry, talking about you know a showless tune actually that was a that yeah, was yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah. You know like the just end details. Skit. Yeah. Yeah. Skit of that was that that was actually real. That um, really stop happened. It. Yeah. Yeah yeah that that was me being angry and I, mean, <laughs> I think it was a voice note that I sent yeah. it and we'll put it in there because we basically um, for you know for the people that don't know so we did this this album and. As producers, the idea is, what do we talk about? You know, like what can we chat about? And producers te technically don't talk. They don't. That's they, right. They have other artists doing it, and but we had a message. And even when we had people on the album, it was like, this is the subject line. This is what we want to talk about. You you can't just come and talk about your cars and how much money you make. 
Um, and for that particular album, we had to come out of a deal in order for the album to happen. And uh, yeah, when we were trying to come out of the deal, it was like, yeah, <laughs> you, you guys owe us X amount. Like, like I think we, were, we weren't even far from finishing the yeah. deal, but they were just being sour because we decided to, to go leave. with with another mm. distribution house. So that that voice note at the end of the show uh, <laughs> skit was literally just pent up frustration. Because you have to remember when you do an album, there's like frustration from the people that are on it mm. and the people that are not on it, mm. like the collabs that you want and some people n pretending they want to do it and not wanting to do it. Then you, you've got to go you know, chase a deal, to, mm -hmm. a distribution deal, because uh, we always wanted to be independent. Mm. And that's frustrating. Then there's, when is the album coming out? The artwork. The, the, so all of that, yeah. and then you add the whole, our oh, boys, we can't let you off uh, your deal unless you pay X amount and we recruit this, that, that, that. So that was me voice note. <laughs> like, yo, man, these industry people. Mm. It's like, yeah, because we just like to do music, man. Yeah. The, the politics is a bit too much for yeah. us. But, yeah. Yeah. You don't, it doesn't come, uh, there's no small print to this. This <laughs> shit's lawless, man. And it does Bro, my head. It's, it's, the, it's the Wild West, man. Yeah. It's the no. Wild West. It's like, but you, you learn as you go along. Um, so it's okay. With, with that album, we did exactly what we wanted to do. Mm. And even mm. when, we, when it came out, um, we didn't expect much from it. Mm. But what we do like about the album itself is, it's it's made for a certain niche mm. like for a certain group of people yeah. and they're like they keep telling us like it's one of the best it's, albums yeah. you guys did bro uh, cult yeah. classic is the word that springs to yeah, mind yeah it's yeah it's cult classic it's like one of those ones and I also yeah I've got to give it up for the branding the look the feel yeah. you know that kind of uh, no, um, what's that uh, what was that uh, program that used to be on the one that uh, I forget the name of it um it was bit. It was before ages there, but like proper eighties retro on Netflix. I forget. On Netflix, yeah, eighties. Yeah, like old eighties. I forget that. Was, come on, is answer it, the comments. On Netflix yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. You're not talking well, about Stranger Things. That's the one. It had okay. that kind of. It yeah, had that yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Kind yeah. of like um, warmth to the branding. Yeah. It felt yeah. like it had been put through. If it was audio, it would have been put through tape. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Real heavy yeah. aesthetic filter. Yeah, but the it. whole thing, even like the the logos and yeah, we did. He would tell you straight, we did watch Stranger Things, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but that's how we wanted to um, come out. Like we're big fans of, um, I mean, some people are familiar with it. Like we're big fans of people like Kavinsky, for example. Yeah, yeah, man. Big eighties producers, kind of thing. With the yeah. big kind of heavy analog. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that, all of that. So it's like it's Ow. almost like even if we can't do it because that's not the genre of music that we do but mm. we can take inspirations from the aesthetics how the album looks or how it sounds or the little bits the the skits and and things that are what you mm. talk about so so yeah so definitely. it's more than production because because yeah. most producers are happy in the background and they don't play to the forefront they don't think i don't i'll be i'll be overly critiquing if i didn't think they they thought about their branding, but mm -hmm. but for sure, like you guys, it kind of reminded me. I'm not sure if you're familiar with um, Ninja Tune and that, mm -hmm. that labels. They had a real kind of stylistic um, approach to each producer. Mm -hmm. They had a, a look and a feel. It really put the producer to the forefront. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what this felt like. It was like a renaissance of that, which I loved. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think we even at the time that we came out, we came out an era where on Grime Daily or on YouTube you started seeing so-and-so featuring so-and-so oh. in brackets produced yeah. by the heavy mm -hmm. trackers and everyone started doing that because I, I feel like every producer started getting the whole, hang on, my name can be in the title. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not just mm. the guy at the back. And then it's funny to see because now that it's, it's the in thing yeah. to have so-and-so featuring so-and-so and then in brackets produced by so and so because we made it a thing like you had to say yeah they did <laughs> God damn it. You, you had to say it was produced by us like yeah. that's the very least um because you know some of those some of those tracks didn't have we didn't we didn't do production yeah. fees with some people yeah. yeah so you had to get your credit in so of it course. was yeah but it wasn't even so much oh you gotta credit us or not it's like we're working on this together mm -hmm. you know there's 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 tracks where you know, you're, you're giving out hints of hooks or lyrics. I mean, we don't write, but a lot of the time people think you just make the beat and that's it. But at the time where we're sitting down, we're talking, mm -hmm. we're chopping it up, then we, we go, okay, who's going to put it out? Um, who's going to do the, uh, the, the the plugin for this? So it's from the beginning to the end. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's only right that 
wow. when you say produced by the heavy track because it's, it's almost the, a feature. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's, it's almost a feature, but because the UK isn't used to mm. a feature, it sounds weird, you know, like yeah. the last two releases that we've had with uh, Big Nasty, it's like the heavy trackers and Big Nasty. Mm. Whereas it would have just been Big Nasty featuring the Heavy Trackers, mm. uh, or or the one with Fizzler, um, the Heavy Trackers and Fizzler, Fizzler mm. and the Heavy Trackers, and and in the comment section, there's like people like, "Yo, where's the Heavy Trackers?" Part? Mm. But that's, See, that's when you know. Yeah. That's when you like become the brand. You know, like yeah. someone wears a Hermes belt, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or someone's yeah. got like you know got those that particular look. It's yeah. almost like a it's a it's a it's um. It's it's decorative. It's a it's a, it's a sign of quality. That's yeah, it. Yeah. But every every five years, I feel like you need to re-educate people, and I think like we we we've gone into like this drill era, mm. and you need to re-educate them as well, and and make them understand that the producers is as important mm. um, as the artist is as whoever else is mm. you know yeah. doing stuff. So yeah, kind of it it did take a. A, it, it takes a back seat when new genres come along right yeah you know it took a back seat for a little bit like neptunes and timberland had their thing and mm. all of a sudden they kind of took the crown of what a producer would be and then they disappear and then there's just a throne empty mm -hmm. and then a new genre comes along you've got like you say you've got to kind of without being too you know patronizing you've got to somehow steer the course of production quality into the next mm -hmm. generation yeah. haven't yeah, you? yeah yeah is sure. that is that is that is that a a mission brief, do you think? No, nah, it's sort of, but in our <clears throat> in our case, basically, it's just about doing what we like mm. and trying our best to mould whatever's new mm. to our sound. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like for example, like we're working on an album now. Like the names already, for example, that that we have on songs and f as features. Mm. If you look at it as a list, you probably think, okay. That doesn't make sense, but I would like to hear mm. uh, Koji Radical featuring Scorcha or Lazy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's a mixture of different artists on a song, and we try and make it work basically. Yeah, we 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 almost made it like a mission to. We, I mean, we would have loved a lot more people out there to to jump on the album, but um, mm. th there's two ways this works, right? So a lot of these youngers are now being signed from the get-go. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Comes out of a song, it's got a million views, it's signed to this label. Mm. Yes, so, please. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little mm. bit hard, but ultimately what we did with this project, and going back to your question, it's it's almost as if, yes, you do make a mission of yours to teach people about right. what was and what is and what will be, but at the same time, it's like, we have to be ourselves mm -hmm. and then bring our you know element to to whatever it is so at, at the minute again we've got the the track with fizzler which is obviously a drill track yeah mm. uh but people will say but you guys ain't drill but it's like yeah but then they hear it and they're like oh that sounds cool that mm. sounds different mm -hmm. it doesn't even yeah. sound like drill i've seen some people say that that doesn't even sound, sound like drill, drill. even though it's a, it's a drill track uh, so it's it's um it's um it, it is a mission for for the younger listeners yeah. and it's also a mission for us because it's like you do have to keep up with mm. times yeah. yeah and you do have to still be like a torch bearer so like mm. you mentioned like neptunes and and you know people like pharrell and and chad and all these guys like they yes you can go back to listen to front end mm. or or the the neptune pr prison star um, mm. star track and, and everything like that and then you compare it to pharrell williams with happy mm. it's a completely different sound for real but it's still the same person it's like my nephew would know who pharrell for williams real. is through happy yeah. yeah i would know who pharrell is through grinding <laughs> or yeah. through, through anything from the clips yeah. yeah so it's like but the aim of it is we both know for real ways. Mm. So that's that's how it needs to be for... I for get people. it. So you that's, can't just die down. Like, yeah. That's the mission brief, essentially, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will be the same for 15 years' time, whether we're producing or, or call whatever a project. Mm. You know what I mean? Because, like, I, I write a lot of hooks. Tank writes some hooks as well. It's, Tank's actually on a few features, <laughs> singing in the background and doing stuff. So... It doesn't necessarily no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, way. You don't have to be That's like fire. <laughs> produced by the heavy trackers, but it's like, yo, I'm, I'm eighteen, I'm I'm dope, 
and they've put me together with these guys. They in their 30s. Mm. Apparently, they used to produce for Stormzy yeah. back in the day. And I'm you don't sure want to be are. them people. You want to be yeah. relevant. But I want yeah, them, them kids to come in and be like, nah, these guys are sick. Mm. Yeah. Like, mm. regardless, like, right, they don't do what I do, but they're sick. Like, we mm. came up with a sick hook. They they told me about this. That, like, my image is going to change. I'm not going to do this. I'm, like, yeah, that's yeah. what we want. In workload, in, right, workload. I mean, I can, again, you mm. know, I can only speculate because when there's three of you, and you're in the mix. What's the turnaround? What's is there a cookie cut approach? Do you know the position for you guys to be in a room at the same time? Does does the work turn out faster? Does it turn out more methodical? Mm, it it, it no, it, it varies. It varies. Um, again, I can take the last two tracks that we did in the past month. So with Sweet Light, for example. Um, I did some chords for, for another act like that came to the studio mm. and he wanted something mm. and it never turned out. And then Tank was like, yo, send me those chords. No way. And then he's like, I can hear a garage tune because he wasn't a garage tune. Really? Yeah. yeah and, I, you know, I played the dun, 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 dun. And then, yeah, he done his thing. Then I came back in, he played it back to me and then I was like, sweet, yeah. like, literally took, the chorus took two seconds. Yeah. There was a girl next door. There's a studio next door to mm. us. There was a girl next door. I could hear a girl sing, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Stay ask this up. girl to do it." <laughs> she came through. What do you want me to do? Sweet, let the night. That's it. She did it. Thanks. Boom. That's it. Nasty was coming. Your nasty jump on this. That was that. Mm. And then, and then we have different ways as well. So with the Fizzler track, for example, um, Tank. Tank's got uh, um, another producer called Hayes. Hayes, the producer mm. that he's got under his wing. It started off the beat and Tank added the rest to it. So there, he's been mentoring this younger guy. Oh, like, sick. Again, 18. What? Because yeah. he, he just, you know, like people send us stuff. I listen, like in the DM sometimes, like, who's this person? They're like, oh, no, some guy. <laughs> I listen to stuff they're saying. He listens to some stuff they're saying. It's like, yo, I like this kid. Da, 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 da. Let's collab. Let's do something. Let's put him on the credit. Let's give him his PRS, blah, blah, blah. blah. And that's how that, that tune came I about. Fucking so it's love like it. different. It's it's all it's all different. Like he's done a tune at the minute, and I was like, I know who I can hear on it. So I took it, DM the person. Yo, da da da. All right, cool. I'm gonna jump on it. I'm gonna do it. So it's whatever. It's literally yeah. however it comes through. There isn't a specific it's way. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah, fucking formula. heavy trackers isn't people. It's a factory floor. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> heavy trackers <laughs> limited. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what the company is called. Yeah. Like, hey. yeah, well, you're, you're right. You're right. Oh, it's too man. much. But yeah, it, it is that. It's just you just do it there and then. Um, like the girl on Sweet Like isn't known. Hmm. I could have passed it on to someone else. You know, yeah. like someone bigger. Like, oh yeah, yeah, and that'd be the bait way of doing it. And yeah. we'll grab. We'll grab yeah. That, that those listeners will grab those listeners then it'll be mm. bigger but it was there it was then Felt he was good. like give me those mm. chords man I'm gonna make something out of it he done his thing <laughs> came back listened to it yeah. came up with a chorus got someone to sing it boom and mm. then there you go you know and then it, from that to like even the, the videos like we direct our own stuff mm. like we write mm. the whole treatment and then we do it so it's, Damn. it's, it's pretty much hands on yeah wow like Oh God! Now you just opened me up to so many other questions. <laughs> okay. All right. No, this is the easiest way to deal with it. All right. Yeah. All right. Give me the basic breakdown of a day in life of the heavy trackers from eight in the morning or seven in the morning. <laughs> Seriously, give me the give me the breakdown. Like Jim. Right, yeah. Jim, <laughs> yes, what time? Jim. Is, what time's Jim? Jim's usually for me. It's like eight o'clock. Jim, yeah, good man. Time, good man. Yeah, good yeah. man. Yeah, me too. That's the same. As, yeah. Yeah. as was carry on. Then, then. Yeah. I mean, I get in the studio probably nine o'clock. He's there before me. It's like, yeah. Really? He's, he's in straight. Nine yeah. o'clock. Yeah. From nine o'clock, I'm there. I'm there. If if he's either to make beats or just dealing with other like, because we actually rent our studio as well. Sometimes you rent it out. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. We've so, got, so so we've got we got actually be, we the, we actually have people that would just record that don't know who we are. Yeah. Mm. They just think we're just engineers. It's like what do you guys do? Yeah. And then they see the plaques mate, and they're like Mate, that yeah. would just fuck people's heads <laughs> up. <laughs> It's just, this is a game. It's, 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 yeah, and then they think, wait, what? Because obviously, because of the, the image and the masks and the... the they just would never know. Yeah. So they wouldn't know unless we, we tell him. But yeah, yeah. a lot of the time when he's in the studio, right, so I can see, I get my emails notifications, I can see him <laughs> sending beats to himself. So by the time I get in, mm. 
is like, yo, I made this and I think that, and I'm like, yo, I already know because yeah. I heard it when I was at home oh, and I was making my breakfast yeah. kind of thing. So yeah. like, by the time we get in and then we, we sit down, uh, I'll say, yeah, roughly around like in the afternoon, then we yeah. sit down and then we go through a phase of, I don't even think we do anything. It's yeah, just, we just daydreaming, not daydreaming, but like coming up with ideas. Oh, you know, we'll be sick if mm. this, that, that, that. So we spend a long time um, visualizing visualizing things and, and verbally, I wouldn't even say like manifest them. It's not that deep, but we, we dream a lot. Mm. Like, yeah, the, a beat can be there, but we, we might just loop a beat and be like, just let it play. We order our food, we're, we're talking <laughs> shit, we're thinking about the tune. I'm already thinking, yo, these are this is the visuals. Like, who do you think is going to jump on it? Blah, blah, blah. We talk, 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 talk. Just don't do anything until <laughs> it's time to go home. Then put it on a um, SoundCloud private link and then leave it there so he has access to it from home and so mm. do I. And then once we get home, yo, I got this person. I think this person, that person, I think the hook should go like that. Put in a note, send it to me, whatever. It's just back and forth. But usually when we're in, um, if we're not, beat making or, or whatever. It's just a lot of our stuff I think is daydreaming and mm. and trying to bring things to life. life yeah. Um a lot yeah, yeah. it's weird, isn't it? But nah, it's, it's a, I'm actually clocking while I'm I'm talking, but a lot of the time it's it's a lot it's it's a lot of conversations yeah. Yeah, rather than we're just gonna make beats like monkeys. I feel like we used to do that when we were younger as well. Yeah. Making you know when yeah. Kanye West says made 10 beats a week for this. Um, I forgot what album that was, <laughs> but he was making five beats a day. Yeah, yeah. That's what we used to do. But now it's like, nah, man, every beat has to it's count. Beat, yeah. So. Yeah, but, um, okay, the, the, the batting average, that's what we, mm -hmm. we're talking about here, aren't mm -hmm. we? You do it one and you're like, okay, do, do you think you, you've got enough of the processes? Excuse me, you've got enough of the processes, you've got enough of the techniques that you, you're confident in saying, work on one beat or two beats three beats a week tops yeah. is that enough of a batting average no i mean in terms of making that's not even a problem right. like it's just finding the right mm. what fits what do you know what i mean but because more time in the studio beats come out just yeah. like mm. what it's like within an hour we'll have about five six ideas muscle just memory you've just got yeah, loads yeah, of ideas so yeah. like Tank Tank has a way of working. He's the machine. Everyone knows him in a group chat. He's the machine. <laughs> yeah. he, will make, he will make you ten. Like, like come on, <laughs> He's the machine. Hey, so we have like, I love it. So I remember um, like Shabo's example. Yeah. Um, so Tank's got a brief. Yo, Shabo's coming tonight. I need this mm. or that. Then I'll make it. That's what I think I can make. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully she likes it. Cool. Boom. But. I'm aiming for one or two because I feel like that I've got my brief. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Tank, tank on the other <laughs> side is like, I'm I'm making twenty right now. Like, <laughs> man, just, man making twenty. Mowing down the yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then and then they're, they're both winners on either side because they always end up mm. taking more than they came for. It's always like, oh, I came for a, I need a radio pop hit. And then yeah. they come in and I'm like, I'm going to take the pop hit, then I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to take this one. And they're like, yeah. I don't know which one to pick anymore. But that's what that's you want. So that's sick. what you want, yeah. So you meet people. Customer Especially, service, thank yeah. you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's From Heavy Track is <laughs> Limited. <laughs> you know what's weird? I think some it, it works different. So you've got someone like like a, a Big Nasty or a Getz or whatever, mm. where you, you go through, mm. you just blame tracks. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you've got, you've got sessions you got yeah. people that are coming from label sessions. Yeah. So it, it's a little bit different where it's like, okay, cool, this might be a little bit more tailored. Mm. But because then they're coming for yeah, 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 so it's, yeah. it's different. We don't know each other, so mm. we just, we, you know, we're, we're vibes in. But in the end, they, they've come for one song and there's like three, four ideas. Yeah. Do they, ever get, do they ever get stumped? Like, oh shit, like all of these kids. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. And you kind of don't want that neither, do you? You don't um, want to... Well, I, I, always, I always give like a, a little warning. I'm like, I'm going to play you tunes. Before I play them, I'm going to tell... I'm, each tune that I'll play, if you like a tune, please tell, ask me what the title of that tune is so you can write in your notes mm. because there is no way that we can go mm. back to playing them again. Mm, We're yeah. about to spend about an hour yeah. just listening to tunes. So mm. if you don't know yeah. which one Tank's it is... Tank's just loading up the chamber for another 20, <laughs> you know what I mean? And we just go, go, go. <laughs> and it's like, what's that one called? What's that? And it's like, you know, we have a five-hour session and three of the, of those five hours are sitting there debating what song mm. she or he 
it's gonna wreck yeah. because it's like Ugh, yeah i don't know and in the end it's like i'm gonna have to take these and go home yeah. that's normally the way isn't it <laughs> yeah. yeah you kind of just people especially when you're working cold with somebody that's you know there for 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 the mission brief that they have mm, yeah. coming from a label coming from an outsource mm, mm, management mm. or whatever you kind of got to let them let swan be a swan yeah yeah, 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 exactly. If they want to go somewhere else and they just go somewhere yeah, else. They I just guess. go somewhere else. But sometimes it's scary because you're like, man, their manager's about to get onto us for not, for not doing yeah. what you came in to do. Mm. But it's like, uh, it's either we play, we play you three tracks mm. or we play you 20. Mm. And sometimes, you know, like you might have a manager that'll be like, please only play that particular style because yeah. we really need it. Then you... Have you got anything else? No, we don't. You kind of mm. like, because that's what the managers ask you to. Mm. But mm. usually when they're like, oh, play me whatever, because I sing wherever and yeah. I can rap on whatever. Yeah, no, it's and it's cool. like, bro, you don't want to do that. Because <laughs> you're not going to leave it. Yeah. It's, it's known as a tin of worms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just opening a different can. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to yeah. be able to close it. And yeah, then, yeah. yeah, but usually it's like, but then it's a good relationship. Because mm. they, always, they always come back or, you know, you ex- exchange numbers and it's like... <laughs> Let's have another session. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the time, some some acts only have that one day in a calendar. Mm. Yeah. But with us, we've always been lucky where people are like, yo, I'm, I'm coming I'm back, back, man. Yeah, like, they just make yeah. their own rules. And yeah. I'll yeah, come yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, like Forget yeah. my manager. Like, what's your number? Yeah. I'm, I'm coming back. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm coming back from Birmingham. I'm coming back from Leeds, mm. from mm. wherever. Like, I'll link you back up again because you guys are sick. Yeah. And then you build, That's you build sick. a relationship. That's what you want. You don't want the, the label conditioned oh, we have to do this and then that's it. And then sometimes mm. you're like, back, I think like back in the days, like we'll meet someone and it's funny, right? Because we stopped even doing that, like yeah. taking pictures with people that come of for course. sessions. But like back then when we first started, it's like they come in, you take a picture and you look like you're really friends, but you're not because you yeah. might not see that person again. Mm. It's just for the gram that you do it. But then once we got into it, you know, you, you have sessions and it's like, mm. yo, let's exchange numbers. Mm. Let me have you on WhatsApp. Let's actually have a conversation mm. about music. And yeah, and then you the never before the horse. Yeah, yeah, you never even horse. you never even post that picture because mm. yeah, we're past that. Yeah, yeah, it's not that deep anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that um, level of zen with you guys as well. I mean, I've always admired producers because they're just so patient. <laughs> they're such patient people, and there are a lot of things they are behind closed doors. You don't see, yeah, yeah. you don't see the grind. You don't see the hours of that. You yeah. don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? You the guys headache, have got like yeah. some like partitioned mindset where it's like, okay, we're going to do a lot of playing right now, then we're going to get really serious, yeah. and then we're going to get really zen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sad. Yeah. Ooh, sad. yeah, that mixing thing is a yeah, whole other. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like, you have to. Yeah, I mean that process alone is 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 probably the best part. No, actually, I wouldn't say the the best part of it. Like, obviously, there is actually making the song, getting to the technical side of things, mm. and mixing and stuff like that. But the best part, really, for me, is mm. actually when we get to finish the track. The song's mastered, ready to go, and it comes to video, mm. like doing the, the video yeah. stuff. I think that's the most exciting part of it. Like, that actually must be going, super fun as well. But yeah, yeah. by the mixing yeah. side, yes, that's that's something I enjoy. I do enjoy yeah. doing it. Yeah. Because it's, it's yeah, almost yeah. like, I think like with a video, it's like, okay, the tune's definitely coming mm. out now. Yeah. Because mm. not only we've done it, it's like, you, it's like you've had a baby and you run it through uni, college, whatever, and you're at graduation day. So it's like, okay, we've got visuals. Mm. So that means this is coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And you're, you're happy about it because it's like, oh, yeah, remember when he was just kicks and snares mm. and an idea and, you know, us jumping around like, yeah, this. <laughs> and it's like, it's all, it's all in our head. Yeah. It's not real mm. until it it's, becomes real. Um, but I think with us, what we have improved that is churning ideas into into actual reality now. It's... Yeah. Like when I think when we did like the German whips and the storms and stuff at the time, it was, it was almost like a, a hope and a prayer. You mm. knew the beat was sick, was sick, but that was it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So my man comes through and you're like, actually, I remember um, Stormzy what a standard. standard. That's a perfect example yeah. of him coming in, play me some tracks. Uh, that beat that. Yeah. <laughs> play some tracks and then it's, it's like dumb. nah man it's I dumb. don't know and then I'm like yo Tank play him that one that you played me last time or whatever then play yep yeah, that's the one that's it boom that's the one because you know sometimes yeah. the artist doesn't know it's yeah. like you know I'm like yeah 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 yeah. but trust me we've got one more like, 
that one. Take yeah, that you, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like a game of, of yeah. cards. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Poker. Because you're, it's, it's minds fighting one another. Remember, I've told you they, they come in for one specific idea, mm. right? And your, your fault is that you've got this specific thing in mind that you think that person will be good at, mm. yeah. but you can't tell that person yeah. because they are, they're also creatives. Yeah. Yeah. And by me telling you, no, do this tune. It's almost like you cage them up. So what you do, you play what they want to hear, and it's like, trust me though, we've got we've got one. I yeah. think it's you, yeah. and then you almost have to sell it. It's like a pitch. Mm. Yeah. Why is it me? Explain and let them me. fill in the blanks. Yeah. So yeah. the very go ain't too ruffled. Yeah. Jedi mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. These drones are not the ones. Yeah, yeah, play, right. Yeah. But it's it's that it's that, mm. and then you let them, and they're like. Oh, mm. that's the one, and then yeah. when's that? You're like, yeah, yeah, everyone, you know, everyone. That's happy. the job of the producer. It's almost like st- st- steering th- to the best end result. Yeah, and just guidance. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, I think I don't know if it was Timberland or again Neptune or someone that said it, where it's like the, that's the difference between a beat maker. And a and producer, because mm-hmm. a producer is you, you produce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not, oh, I made a beat, it's like the whole process. The whole process. Yeah. And then you've got beat makers that make beats, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, Which is in its own right. It's, it's, yeah, it's, and, a, it's and, a, and a beat maker might just be sometimes better than a producer, I think. Like, mm. if, if you were in a sound clash, one-on-one, right now, uh, you you know, someone has an Akai MPC 500, mm. and, and then there's us, he might come out with some fire beats, mm. but... The, the game is bigger than just making a beat. It's like, okay, yeah. now how do we get a million people to like it? Mm. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's different. It's like, yeah, cool. There, there were 30 of us. You won the battle. There's your championship. Yeah, 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 yeah You're yeah, yeah. the best beat maker yeah, in yeah. the whole of Manchester. But yeah, it's yeah. like, okay, now how do we make a bunch of corporate guys in a suit with ties on going, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll this play makes sense. Yeah, this yeah. is it. So now I'm going to give that person money to part with mm. that idea. How do you sell... That idea, so that's where the producer comes in. It's a little mm. bit, it's a little bit different. So it's the same with the, with the artist. It's like, how do you, how do we make him understand that? And I feel, feel like our transitions gone that way now, where yeah. it's like, before we we're making beats and in a hope that people would take them. Mm. Yeah. But now it's like, half the time we've actually got the song in mind already. Already mm. in mind. Yeah, the song's there. It's like. It's for you to drop your eight or your sixteen mm. or whatever. Yeah. But the song's there. If you're not gonna do it, someone else will do it. How did you get yourself in that? How do you, f- there's going to be people out there <laughs> asking these questions, you know. They ask me how I get the likes of you in. Yeah. I understand there's no real, it's a journey and there's mm-hmm. no real, but when you're, when you're flooded in an industry that has got nothing but candidates, mm-hmm. you, identifiably through sound, but to get to that point was something else. How did you, how did you stick out from the crowd and how, how did this momentum build? I mean, it's. I think you probably. It started off from way when we started because I think even from the grand perspective, when we were making songs like or producing songs for like the DJs or, or anything like that, they all couldn't play it because it was too musical or it was too different. Right. right. So you had to so, re. re- yeah. So yeah. even doing that, that just told us that. Okay, we're different. We're different. So, I mean, yeah. so that's we, a good position to be in. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we yeah. just had to just run with it. And just improve as the sound obviously evolved. Yeah, it, it's so. almost like it, it, they catch up. Yeah. Does yeah. that make any sense? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. So I remember... Uh, but you have to be ahead of the curve to begin with and then yeah, yeah, draw yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then you realise that you are ahead. And it's not, not to be big-headed but, yeah. or anything like that. It's like, so you've got... Um, I remember Kiss FM, Logan Summer playing some of the best beats, right? Some of the best grind beats. And this is like maybe... 2007, yeah. Yeah. we're at my house, chilling, we gave him a beat, but Logan hasn't played it. And it's like, why has he not played it? So mm. you're a bit upset. Then you realise Logan hasn't played it, not because um, your beat is on fire. It's just that these these guys are MC and they're spitting bars. You need a beat that mm. makes sense for it. Yeah. And our beats are structured. We have intros, yeah. verses, choruses, bridges, and it's like, that's not it. Because Grime wasn't wow. ready at that time to mm, yeah. it's it, it our stuff was song structured mm. and Grime wasn't ready at the time to be structured. Grime was sixteens or eights and then switch up. 
Yeah. You play eight, mm. then you switch up the drum pattern, yeah. like pow, you know. That's what it was. And you go back, it's a loop, right? Yeah. But we weren't looping. We were doing songs. So it was like, mm. then once we realised that, we accepted. At first it was a bit frustration. Then we accepted that, okay, that industry isn't ready to be on radio. Mm. So therefore we might have to buy our time. There's Wait nothing. a while. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when people started coming to us, it was like, okay, I need a hit. I'm going to the heavy trackers. Like mm. it, it wasn't, you know, if someone wanted a, a beat to shell down Eskimo mm. dance, they wouldn't come to us. No. And that was okay. That's, that's the only, that's one of the reasons why we were only booked for Eskimo dance. I remember once. Yeah. And we, again, we used to have the same thing like, yo, why is no one booking us to shell down Eskimo dance? It's like, but no, you guys are like, you're producers, you're not beat makers. Yeah. Accept that you're producers. That's what it is. You mm. make songs to make people dance. You make mummy love it. You make granny love it. Yeah. Or whatever. And sometimes people can't understand. Granny can't understand grand because it's too violent. It's like, how do you bring in strings and bass line together? How do you bring in mm. piano? How do you, you know, like if you listen to Odyssey, it's, it's yeah, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of people, like even with Odyssey, a lot of people were like, Yo, man, it's so you man's album's sick, but it's a bit too musical for man, you know? And it was yeah. okay, but it was a compliment to us. They didn't know that. Yeah. They yeah. didn't know it was a compliment because it's like, okay, cool, that's that's what we, we wanted. wanted. See, this is, this is long game talk, all right? This is forecasting. Mm. This, is, this is where people, this is what makes a great fucking bunch of producers. It's the humbleness of understanding that, okay, we have... We have that as a as um as the colour on our yeah. on our palette here. They only may want black, white, and green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got to work with that black, white, and green, and know when to start adding yeah, the yeah, textures. Yeah, yeah, start adding, and exactly. that's a long game. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, another example, I think, it's like our intros for our albums. Um, so we've had on Odyssey, for example, the, the intro sit. We've got Noel Clark on it, for example, mm. and Noel Clark is. Mm. Adulthood, kid at home. He's a he's a he's a director. It's Fire. Like, why is he on it? Like it doesn't make sense. Then we have got P money that comes. Does in that spin it. you out? Does it spin you out when you got you oh, get the yeah, call yeah. from yeah, Noel Clark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sick, but it's mad because it's like, yo, no, would you want to do this? It, bear in mind, he doesn't know us. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. I'm doing it, yeah. And it's like, raw. It's Man said, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the integrity yeah, yeah, of your music. Yeah, yeah, full yeah, stop. yeah, yeah. F- fully. And then and then we've got the intro mad. on um, what one of P Money's thing and again it's the same, same thing, thing. P Money's well. another bad man of all strings Jesus. strings and, and, yeah. and opera music and, and uh, an opera singer in the background and it's like okay where where is this going how, mm. how do you yeah. change that into crime then then we've got the intro gets his intro on our um, NATO Phonetics uh, release which yeah. is pretty much untitled it's like all the songs that Never, never got, never made through. Chance to do anything well, with it, and everyone, everyone's messaging is like, "You lots intros, man. How do you do it?" <laughs> yeah. And it's like, but yeah, we like it. We like opera music. We like mm. different kind of music. We like strings. We mm. like violins. Like we're from a different background, so we're both French natives. Like we speak French. We're both from Ivy Coast, so it's mm. like lucky, lucky buckets. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> Duolingo, love it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Duolingo, yeah. But it's like different culture, so. When it comes to grime, that's that. It's like, mm. I love grime, he loves grime. Mm. But we like other shit, you know. Yeah. Every once in a while, my man slip on some, <laughs> some, some uh, I don't know, like yes. some Beyonce or some... So that's, so that I could see it. Some, Maybe some Napalm Death or something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> some Rage Against the Machine, whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like some Lana Del Rey, whatever mm, yeah. works. But it's Oof. like, okay, when you hear those strings on a Lana Del Rey mm. album, it's like... How do I bring those strings to grime? Thank you, exactly. You know, how do I bring that? How do I bring this breakdown? And it's like, okay, cool. Then we we learned about radio and repetition. Mm-hmm. So there was a whole period. It's like there was a whole period from 2014 to I would say about 2018, mm-hmm. where we started. No, we didn't particularly birth it, but the idea of having a repetitive chorus in order to not brainwash, but to educate people about how a chorus goes. Yeah. And Grand then then have that per se. You know? mm. So we had a tune with Section Boys. Actually, actually say and that. that. Yeah. And it's like, perfect yeah, repeat, perfect repeat candidates that. for that. Bonkers. You know? Bonkers. Run we run the block. We run the, mm. repeat yeah. that. Let's go. Yeah. Don't, don't write anymore. Just get that four, repeat yeah. that. And mm. it's like, for the first eight, strip. Yeah. Take out mm. the bass line, right? Do the chorus without the bass line. Then on the second eight, bring in a riser. Impact. Boom. Impact. Boom. Yeah. Get the crowd mm. going. 
And then our vision changed a little bit when we started doing shows. Shows, yeah. That's when that we're like, okay, so this is how it works. This That's is how it works for, yeah. This is how it works for Skrillex. This is how it works for Diplo. Yeah. This is how it works for, um, what's my man, RL Grime. Mm. Yeah. This is like, okay, so this is how it works for Major Laser. That rise up, yeah. bring it. Mm. Yeah. Them rises are the keys. Yeah, yeah. get everyone's yeah. heart up, yeah? Mm. And then that little, just that one second before the drop, then bang. Mm. And then that's how we started learning, you know, uh, like standard. Yeah, you know I mean, then mm. standard because mm. you want to hear people saying, saying it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What can I put you in the category of like a, 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 the pendulum of grime? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There, do you know, what, do you know how many people? That, yeah, pendulum, um, actually, funny enough, are you talking about the group, right? Yeah. Uh, we was meant to do a remix for them. I remember we never got around to, it, but, yeah, but yeah, Rob, <laughs> big shout out, to Rob, old tight, and and Gareth, you know, yeah. pendulum boys, yeah. Good but point. yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, it's you've tight. got to educate people. You've yeah. got to show people, and you're that's really you're in a real sweet spot where you've got you've got enough of an audience that are still well were and mm-hmm. probably still are to a degree mm-hmm. learning a cr- musical theory, mm-hmm. and you're able to inject that very delicately within each song within each artist and mm. and yeah again part of the long game isn't it yeah yeah um ultimately i think like it's it's that it's it is a long game um but overall it's it's a game but it's like from a producer's point of view because mm. mm. the game is only played from the artist's point of view or the label's point of view mm. and then comes here comes the producers it's yeah. like oh Snap, we haven't shown enough light on these guys. Mm. So who's going to do it? Then we, we'll do it ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because no one in the... Let's be honest, no one in the UK cares about the producer. No, it's no. not... It's an American thing, right? It's an American yeah. thing. Your, your, your DJ Khaled, your Quincy Jones, your... Uh, yeah. Your Mustards. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. an Amer- Let's be honest, it's an American, American thing, thing where you look at a producer and you're like, ah, oh, he's dope. Over here, it's like, who yeah. produced that? Oh, Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. it's fine. So it's it's an education process. And I feel like the younger generation are starting to clock it. Like every drill song has, you know, he has a producer's tag at the beginning of it. Yeah. Like yeah. Whether it's it's a whisper, whether it's a loud noise, a pr- you know, so yeah. and so made Swifter this beat. Product. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like Big Swifter Swifter, his, yeah. Big up Swifter, yeah. Well. So it's it's sick, but it's everyone started clocking it. Oh, yeah. they are as important yeah. as, as the artists. Because I, I remember there was a time where I wouldn't check Anyone's album, unless I knew Timbo was on production. No, yeah. you do. Yeah. Me too. You know yeah, the no ones way. like, yeah. yeah, oh, who's this guy? Oh, new yeah. guy. What's his name? Oh, he's called Ludacris. All right, cool. Who's on production, yeah. though? Ah, oh, produced by Neptune. Let's go. That's the shit <laughs> I used to get excited. I get yeah, excited when I see it. Yeah, you want to hear the Dr. Dre tune. You want to yeah. hear the... Of course. Do you know what I mean? You want to hear this song mm. and that song. So it it got it got to that point. And with the, the first album, for example, for us, it was obviously because of who we were at the time as well. It's like we need to bring out a big gun, mm. so we need to have all these features. Now with this project that we we've, we've got, it's a little bit different. It's like okay, we have a fan base. It's not millions of people, but there is a niche. Cult following, that, man. That, that's that. So they will be okay regardless of who's on it. Mm. Mm. So now we need to bridge the gap between the older lot and the newer mm. lot. So if we have this artist that was here from before, then we need this artist from the twenty twenties, and mm. do you know what I mean. Mm. So in, try and bring them together mm. so now we're online we we send each other songs of acts mm. that people might not know and it's like it's hard mm. yeah let's this dm work. him yo what are you saying you become yeah. tastemaker yeah, yeah yeah it's different now it's, it's not it's about yeah like the who's the biggest now mm. like we've done that i think from the last album <laughs> like in terms of pimp, like asking the big majors for I mean, sure big, uh, acts but for now, it's just about looking at yeah. who's actually nice hard. It's a mixture, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then bring the mixture of obviously who's, mm. who's yeah, bigger. Yeah, it's a mixture because you know I mean? it's the, you know, any project is you sell it two ways, right? It's like you still want people to be like attracted by the neon lights, and the neon lights on an album is, oh wow, this person's on mm. it. So you still go back, mm-hmm. but at the same time, you want to educate them. Look, this person's also on it. Well, I'm not quite familiar with that person. Okay, cool. Just listen to it mm-hmm. and let mm. me know what you think. And it's like, Oh, because I trust you guys, mm. I'm gonna listen to it, and that's where we got now. We got to a point where it's like the very small uh, fans that we have are like, we trust you guys. Like we know yeah. it's, it's it's gonna be dope. Mm-hmm. I watched a review yesterday. This American kid of um, the track with Fizzler, and oh. um, yeah, the kid was like, "Yo, I love Fizzler. I love the heavy trackers. I remember them for 
such and such and such. Yeah. And he's a drill kid. And they're like, I love but that. But I don't know, I don't know what to expect. So mm. that's what he was saying. So when the tune dropped, the first thing he said was like, oh, I expected it to have heavy, heavy bass, but it doesn't. And it's like, so a minute into it, it was like, this doesn't match. So at the end of the song now, he, he, he came out with, yo, this was dope. Was like, <laughs> right, I, cu I couldn't believe it because yeah, it's a drill artist the with, with, with the heavy trackers. Yeah. I expected something else than what drop I didn't expect it. Then mm. I loved it. Then I, I, I'm confused. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's how you yeah. ended up. But that's what you want. That's, that's yeah. exactly what you want. And yeah. that's definitely come across in now. Um, uh, ain't it different? Mm. With the... Um, Butterfly tune by um I forget their name but they sampled the uh, um they sampled that tune and there's Heady there's um AJ Heady AJ Storms and Storms yeah this yeah. is okay, a, yeah, this yeah. thing is like for me I'm just like okay right the game's changed yeah yeah the game you know the original yeah 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 same, yeah, yeah. same. it's the bridging same the gap with, again yeah the bridging the gap yeah. like uh, Swarms Crepton Conan and another duo guy they have a similar thing and it's the how do you want it? Mm. How do you need it? Mm. Now the kids won't know. We yeah, know, all, but yeah, they, yeah. They, they won't know it. Yeah. But again, bridging, bridging the gap, gap. is changing. It's, it's mm. different stuff. People like Ill Blue does it as well on, on Drill. They've got different samples in there of stuff that me and you know mm. with that heavy bass. Mm. So it's like, again, bridging, bridging the gap. Bridging like the gap. Yeah, making it, you're making it palatable for all sorts of audiences. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's exactly that. It's like the new kids and us yeah. lot, the, yeah. the over 30s and mm. mid 25s and onwards, like mm. what we used to like, what we like mm. and what, you know, a 13 year old likes. Yeah. And it's, once you get that, once you've got that formula there, you're That's winning. It, yeah. yeah. And then every five years, you just got to rinse and repeat. Do you, when you hear stuff, do you, when you hear something there like that, do you, you guys like, oh, okay, it's going to fucking laugh. It's going to make uh, a banger. You've got to get on this. Come on. No, nah, no, nah, it's not, it's not <laughs> so much that. I, when I hear it, I was like, oh, I see what they tried to do there. Yeah, like, there's certain uh, things we call cheat codes. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of cheat codes going on now. Yeah. yeah. yeah he a said lot of cheat codes. <laughs> it's L1, R2, R2, A, B, B. Yeah, I love that. That's, that's brings out the Kamehameha. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's bait, but... When it works, it works. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, yeah. But having said that, though, there's nothing wrong with it. Because yeah. I think four years ago, DJ Mustard just was doing the same, same thing. thing. Mm. Doom, doom, doom. Do, 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 do. Like the that same, same doom, sound doom, for like doom, 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 probably doom. a whole year. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. for like a couple yeah. of years. So that was his cheat code. And then he added samples from the 80s or the mm. early 90s. And then... So there's nothing wrong. I, I feel like sometimes you, you like it. If it works, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. I think yeah, just because you like it doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It works, it's nice. And it's yeah. like, and then sometimes affirmation that it's like, oh, okay, okay. Mm. You know, it's like with, with sweet, like, I get people going, is it oh. sweet like chocolate? Like, no. no. That's just the first words yeah. that came to mind. Yeah. yeah. Sweet like, sweet like the night. Uh, that's it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Make someone else might go, hmm, cheat code. Yeah. I see what you're doing. That's <laughs> right there. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's okay. Like yeah. I didn't mm. think of it like that. I did think to be like chocolate when I, but when, but that's what automatically dispelled once you've listened to it. Yeah. 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 So it's a, yeah. Nothing it's with a whole chocolate. different <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different vibe. It, it literally was called Sweet Like the Night. The it's night great. Time. It's a great, like you say, it's a good cheat because it yeah. makes people immediately think of that era of genre of and it does play it lends a hand yeah, in yeah, the yeah. garage the, but the garage it's, it's fine because the minute you go oh that's what you think oh that's what you also think okay cool maybe it is mm. <laughs> it's like, whatever. It's like if, mm -hmm. if that's what you think then we, we run with that so no there's nothing wrong with uh people sampling and adding sounds yeah. to mm. drill because ultimately just like grime drill needs to have its own moment on radio as well mm. um for sure so yeah. there is someone out there just like us when grime wasn't feasible for the average person in terms of mm. yes it's a sick sound but i want to hear a song out of mm. it yeah. just like you know mm. like you have freestylers right they're sick but it's like but can mm. you make a song this is a whole different beast you've yeah. got you know to I'm saying? they've got to earn their stripes so yeah. it's, it's the same thing it's like um Ah, I forgot I forgot my man's name, but I like him. He's a he's a he's a UK freestyler. Uh, gets likes him a lot. Skinhead, mm. really dope. He had a one on one with uh, Arsenal freestyler. I forgot I forgot his name. But my point white is, guy is or black that, guy. 
white guy. Shotty horror. Shotty horror. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick. Batman. You know what he's doing right. now? What's he doing? He's building up to be a wrestler. Like proper. You're boys. lying. You should see him now. He's tonked out. No fucking way. That's mad. Yeah. It's mad. He's, he's skinny. Like shotty horror. Yeah, he's big now. No, I need to pray. No, my <laughs> man needs to go. To <laughs> Instagram. What that. do you mean? What do you mean wrestler? Like what yeah, do you like mean? WWE. Yeah. He's going for it. He's doing the wrestle thing. Wait, wow. how? No, we need to pause this. <laughs> one. Time out, time out, time out. What? <laughs> this is the end of first car podcast part one, <laughs> part two. We, we do a reaction video to show you how it's made. No, are you serious? Yeah, for real. No, that's dope, man. But that's my point. Yeah. My, my point was that there are people that do freestyle. Mm, killed that it, don't he did. Um, yeah. make songs or come out on radio. Yeah. And then there's, there's others that do songs that can't freestyle to save their lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just what it is. It's they, true though. There's some people that can't even put two sentences together, together. unless they've got their phone. Do yeah. you wish that they're, like, I mean, you've probably come across a lot of them. The, di- the, the, the dynamics of having, being able to have both. You know, you get those artists where you say to yourself, damn, like, I just wish they had a good producer because they can freestyle, they got lyrics, mm-hmm. they can, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, but they're just not getting over the finishing yeah, yeah, line with yeah, things because yeah. maybe it's just their mindset, they just don't want to share things or, do you, there must there's, be artists like yeah, that. Yeah, there is, there's, there's, there's so many, like, there's, there's good rappers, sound selection, beat selections, mm. pop, mm. and the sick beats, the sick beats is not great. Not great. Right. Oh, so it's, it's, it's just a bunch yeah, of things. There's, there's mm. even the, the guy that, takes five hours to write one verse and you're like bro come on man the song the song is mm. crying out for mm. you to just say what's on your mind mm. the beat's pretty much done mm. yeah man, man take five hours, five to hours write. maybe another guy, eight hours another guy <laughs> might take flipping ten minutes and you're like no go back in there and write, <laughs> write so yeah, in that hot mate depends, in you go. It yeah it all yeah. depends on uh, on the artist um, and then there's people that overthink it and it's mm. like nah man there's, there's people that cause in a way, everything we said about formulating a hit could be also detrimental because there are people that are like, I need a hit and I know how to get it. I know the formula, so mm. I'm going to do it. And it's like, cheat code. You know, yeah. again, it's like, yeah. it's, don't yeah. sign right, bro. Let's go to the draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there is, there is a mixture. Although, yeah, we broke down mm. how to make, well, we didn't break it down, but how to, to go from just making a beat to producing something but ultimately it does a lot of it does still need to be natural and still yeah. you know what I'm saying like people yeah. st- still need to come in into the door like yo what's that tune that's mm-hmm. you know when your next door studio is telling you comes in like yo I just wanted to let you know whatever you are playing sick you know that's, that's like a sign of a that's the that's the okay sign right yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah that's what course. you want you want you want other people like we do it a lot of the time where we record people and we won't listen to that particular record i'll say a few days yeah like three four days no, it's similar then play more. back play back in the car call each other like no nah, that wasn't it bro yeah we was lying to ourselves yeah <laughs> or yeah play back Let's go. Let's when go. We're let's doing go. the video because yeah. you mm. gave it a couple of days. And That's yeah. so sick. So you know how naturally it, your body tells you, like your mind tells you, yeah, this, this one, this one's a go. And then there's other stuff that you've you've tried. We did the formulated eight hook, then mm. baseline comes, and it just doesn't catch. It's yeah, like, it drops. It's like yeah, it's sick, but eh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. So. So that's yeah, it diff- differs, man. Everyone's different. So, yeah. You um, you you cited Pharrell there, and there was a period early Robin Thicke. Yeah. <laughs> no, he. N- <laughs> yo, yeah. before Blurred Lines, he had the, he did this on a Love You. He did a couple of other tunes with Pharrell, and you know sometimes I you know I think to myself, yeah, well, like what is it that producers like about the same thing actually with um. Uh, Nelly Furtado and Timberland. And Timberland. Mm-hmm. Like, that was sick, man. I love that. That's that was such a good combination. But yeah. where does it, where does the intrigue and vision of a producer make them want to stay with artists that, without them, without the producer, are yeah. pretty just regular, regular artists? What yeah. is it about those artists that make a producer I lean so heavily? It's a relationship, really. And plus, no key key thing is obviously if, whether if you believe in the person or not, mm-hmm. and obviously if. I can tell obviously Timberland's a visualizer. He he knows yeah. if he hears someone that is, that has potential, it would work with them. Yeah. Because that's probably what's probably happened with Lily Furtado, and then look at where they've gone. Yeah. Yeah. That, like yeah, just, they had that little trio. Yeah. Uh, 
JT. Hmm. I say JT like he's my friend Justin. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, uh, what did you and say, Timbo. Justin? It's just yeah. Justin. It's just Justin to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Timbo and, and that combo worked. Mm, you know? uh, I expect, you know, you expect the the Missy, the Brat, Aliyah, hmm. Timbo and combo to work. So it's like okay, cool. But when he comes out of his zone, mm. you know, like the the guy was from NSYNC. How's mm. that gonna work? And then mm. Fatado was doing "I'm Like a Bird," yeah. completely different, different from Promiscuous and the other song. Yeah. Yeah. How's that gonna work? And then he makes it work. And then then again, like you said, Neptune's Robin Thicke, Noriega, mm. Kalis, mm. Clips. Uh, again, Justin Timberlake because mm. they're done. Um, how's it go again? Dum, dum. Dun, dun. Yeah, dun, yeah, right. yeah, like yeah, a lot yeah. of like yeah. yeah. they make yeah. they made him work with clips as well. So yeah. it's not only like they oh let's do a tune. It's like no, let me put my boys. Yeah, that I think a dope. We're gonna make something sick. So only again it comes back to the UK because this is all America. Mm. We don't do enough of that. No. Yeah. We don't, man. And I feel like it, it's the most under, untapped, obvious. It's so yeah. it, it's so, it, it, mad. It's, so, it's so annoying because I feel like there's there's only one person that most people go to, but I feel like it's only when they get to a certain level. Certain so level yeah. You have Dave and Stormzy who obviously work with Fraser T. Smith mm. on their album, but it's like, it's cool, but... Again, it's almost like I expect Fraser T to do Fraser T, mm. and I expect Dave and Storms to smash it regardless. Yeah. So I don't, I don't count that. It's like when you can find an, an act that is a little bit left from you, what mm. you might consider mm. left, and then you guys can make it work. That's that's when it's it's sick. It's like uh, mm. a basic example is like um, see Post Malone is an example of is a bit of a cross because he can do the, the this whole hip hop lifestyle. But a lot of his music now is very, it's almost rock and rollish yeah. kind yeah, of type. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, yeah, Nashville, Tennessee kind of a, yeah. but with AO8s. Yeah, and it works. So mm. whatever, whoever produces with him, that's their thing, mm. and it works. And it's a bit like early Travis Scott as well had mm. elements of a lot of guitar, a yeah. lot of you know like tunes that piss on your grave with Kanye West and yeah, yeah, he had he had that AO8, but it was very. Weird. Yeah, and weird, that's rockish. why we we like Lana Del Rey as well because we're always like, man, who's a producer? She smashes it. It's like she smashed. But that you way. hear the strings, yeah. And then, Video and games, then, man. Yeah, yeah. and then there's AOHs that come it's in, mad. and you're like, how? Like, how does he work? Mm. And then then you've got the UK where we have an issue, which is it goes two ways, right? An artist spends way too much time with a producer mm. and never ventures out, or an artist goes to too many producers and, and dilutes, dilutes their shit. Yeah. yeah. We, there's never that balance. There's never that balance where someone's going to go, uh, uh, I'm going to go back and take my old age in it. Like a Ronan Keaton, for example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's take Ronan Keaton from, where they call Westlife. Yeah, Westlife. Right? That's one name I've never <laughs> ever heard on a podcast. We are definitely <laughs> That's what I'm saying. breaking new ground right, up cool. in here. Okay. So we had Westlife, yeah? Or yeah. Five, or yeah, whatever, five. Yeah, when yeah, we yeah. were growing up, right? Yeah. I like Westlife. We'll stick with Westlife. But <laughs> you never, like, you never would have seen a, say like, Mega Man, so solid. Yeah, mm. yeah. Producer, right? Producer makes beats or Dreddy. Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh God, Dreddy killed it. Yeah. Right. Wow. Go. Do you know what? I'm gonna. Me and Ronan, uh, we're gonna make an album. Do you know what I mean? Because Ronan's it. from Westlife. He he does different music. Yeah, yeah. And Dreddy's Dreddy. It would be nice in the UK for for that kind of world to to cross path. I and wish for the radio it would. Yeah. Like, you know, like Timbaland has done it. So we forgot Timbaland, One Republic. To yeah. apologize. Fire. That's my point. It's like one republic is one republic. They do their vibe, and then Timbaland does his vibe. But they came together, and it was sick. That tune's a banger, like banger. You know what? It's when collaborations like that happen, production and with other artists, mm. that you get those songs that last forever. What was that tune that Nelly and that that um country... call you call you again? Yeah, I think about you. Oh my god! Over. You know what I'm talking about? Tim McGraw or whatever. Tim Mc... no yeah, that's it. Yeah, with the the guitar. The most unlikely oh. of two but combos. That's what I'm saying. It that's works. I feel like the UK, the way um shout out these companies, but the way like the Sony's and the whatever. I don't even want to say the names of this. Oh, but <laughs> yeah, the way these labels are set, it's like the yeah, only... um, you know, Georgia Smith can only do tunes with the the urban producers, mm. and you know, but maybe Lily Allen because she wears trainers at the bottom of her dress, yeah. <laughs> but 
Now we Yo, can't. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But we can't get Paloma Faith with heavy trackers. We can't get Paloma Faith. Maybe with Labyrinth for a little bit, but we can't. Do you know what I'm saying? That's mm. the issue. That's the problem. Like, yeah, we can't get those two because he, oh, yeah, nah, that marriage won't work. It's like, how do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. Furtado can sit down with Timberland and make it work. Yeah, you know. Yeah. How do you know that's not gonna work? I wholeheartedly agree. Labyrinth is another person again. Yeah. Again, credit part Top. of this bigger legacy is stable that the british you know music it, i feel like the generation this generation's music founded on the likes of you guys labyrinth and no, labyrinth is cold. Yo, labyrinth. for real Mad. for real um right i have uh, some questions okay. oh yeah let's rock and roll this is from the live stream team i do a live stream show every week okay, okay. Cool. and uh, yeah this is a question it's from the people for the people. By the people. <laughs> All right. So these are quick fire round questions. We've got that. You ready? Yeah, go on. We're going to get live in here. This is about to happen. Okay, I'm going to give it a bit full intro, okay? okay? Heavy trackers, quick fire questions. Here we go. Right. What do you guys argue about the most? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, I would say, song arrangements. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah song arrangements. Maybe, maybe like, yeah. Yeah. Longest time that it's taken you ever to EQ a snare? <laughs> nah, we don't EQ some... Because like, most of our sound packs are already fat, so we don't really do that much EQing, to be fair. That's a good answer. Studio Essentials? S um, sliders. Lights. Um, <laughs> Deliver it up. Yes. On. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and one final thing... Mm. Bro, the AC needs to be on. Yeah, the AC, yeah, yeah. The yeah, AC's yeah, got yeah. to be on. Fair, yeah. But the sliders, I think sliders, sliders are number are one, tops. man. You, you, you're hurt when you don't, yeah. you left them in the car or you forgot them at home. You need to have the sliders yeah. on. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, going in together or creating um, or creating at the same time? Either or. Either or. Yeah. yeah. Um, Favourite artist you ever worked with? Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah, man, that's not fire. That's, that's not, not fair, quick fire around, man. That's oh, nah. For me, yeah, I think Emily Sandy. Okay, cool. Emily oh, yeah, Sandy. That was a good mm. one. I wasn't there. Yeah, and I was hurt when he told me that. Yeah, yeah. damn it. Um, yeah, for me, bro, Craig David was fun. Man. Oh yeah, I forgot about that as well. Still, and there yeah. you go. That's a tune that never came out, but it was still fun. Craig David. Yeah, yeah, done that. Because he was funny, man. He's he's a machine as well. Yeah, he's a machine. He's like, run the next one. Run the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> next one. He was just. Oh, he stayed okay. in a booth for like three hours, three hours straight. straight. Protein shake, obviously, because Craig was doing his thing. <laughs> Protein shake, water, and it was just like, yeah, loop the next one. <laughs> next one, next one. <laughs> mm, yeah. mm -hmm. You got the hat as well. One. <laughs> yeah. T, what's that? What's his thing? T14, whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was going ham because I've never seen anyone work like He's that. He's gone ham. Like, he'd done all that. Like, eight eight ideas, tracks. I we, think. We've got them on our, on the computer and then, mm. then he was, it was a case of, I'm going to pick this and then I'm going to Ideas for days. Ideas yeah, for yeah, days. Yeah, just bang, 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 bang. Because your father knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It's like, rah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. See the that intel was, on this. That was different. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, he's a machine. Man. Yeah, he's a machine. Called. Um, song which may have been lost or deleted by mistake. Oh, that's happened a few times, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, some... Ah. No, nah, I don't even want to talk about that. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, 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 there's lost. Do you know oh. what the, fun, the better question would have been song that can never be released? Song that never can be released. Mm. I like one with... Uh, are you familiar with... Um, uh, I, I forgot his real name, but Riley Ritchie. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Grey Worm, yeah. uh, Game of Thrones. Mm. Yeah, love that tune. It was meant to be on our first album. Couldn't get an agreement uh, in time and it therefore can't be released, but mm -hmm. we listen to it still. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Riley Ritchie's bad, man. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. a different vibe as well. Different vibe. To, see, that, that's my point. Mm. You know what we were talking about earlier? Mm. Yeah. It's from a different world mm. yeah. and we're from a different and world. And that's what you need. So if you said Heavy Truck is Riley Ritchie, probably people Mad. would think, nah, that's, yeah. like, that's Mad. a lie. I need to hear that. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, one thing they didn't tell you about the music industry. <laughs> Oof. Um, Here we go. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that you, you, you have to shake a lot of hands. Take a lot yeah. Yeah, so in this COVID world, boy... It would have turned out different in <laughs> 2020. <laughs> but you have to shake a lot of hands. Mm -hmm. um, 
How many hours a day do you guys put in? Uh, that's 24 7 to yeah. be fair I think seven. that that's non-stop yeah always I think on emails I've, yeah always on laptops always making beats always having ideas mm. like even when we get out of it yeah. probably gonna, something's gonna pop up I, f- yeah. I think that's one aspect that people don't tell you as a as a producer and that's only if you care by the way it's not you don't have to do it constantly but if you care about who you are your product and everything mm-hmm. it's more than just making beats for mm. real there, there are emails there's limited companies. There's how do we branch out? There's clothing. There's there's mm. there's building your market. It never team. stops. There's learning about Google Ads. There's there's learning how to speak to people. That's the most important thing because yeah. music is relationship. Mm. If you're an arsehole and you you know you want your green M and M's to be separated from your mm-hmm. yellow ones, mm-hmm. they ain't gonna like you. Mm-hmm. Like, you know that diva. Yeah, that, that diva vibe. mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only wanna eat red M and M's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, mm-hmm. it doesn't just happen in podcast kells. You see that. Right? <laughs> um, uh, lastly, what's the future of music in your minds? Um, what do you think? Uh, to be fair, I'm just, see at the moment. I'm not actually seeing like foreseeing a f- future yet. Yeah, I'm just living the moment. I yeah, guess. as it comes, taking on a choice at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So future wise, I hope it goes great. But I, I think. Are yeah. we talking about music as music. a as a style, yeah. or are we talking about in the world of streaming and rivers? Yeah, and there scenes? you go. Yeah. Uh, I think eventually. I'm way probably you're gonna have to do your own OnlyFans. Just like <laughs> just like I'm being real. Just like people have no. OnlyFans and people pay for it. I'll give you the, you're laughing, but hold on, hold on. Only fans, explain what, you're not you OnlyFans, right? No. You don't know yeah, about OnlyFans? You know only only fans. Fans, come man. on, come on, man. Well, oh, well, you, well, it's just you're just giving it just to direct to consumer no, of your Only mind. fans is like when usually females, so not being sexist. You put pictures of your ass and your breastuses and your titties. Oh, I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. only yeah. fans. Yeah. Yeah. So you pay yeah, for that subscription. To so you think that. it's going to be like that for artists too? So this is what I think. Eventually, mm. I think Jamie said it before, right? So you have streaming services, but technically we don't own it. Mm. right? So I've got Apple Music. Right. But let's be honest, once the internet cuts off or oh, I get in a rubbish get area nothing. like here, yeah. Yeah. I get nothing. But I pay a £10 subscription for this. But how mm. come I don't have my music there and then because I need the internet so it's not really my music whereas oh, if I had iTunes store and I was paying 99p that would be my music regardless of whether there's internet or not mm-hmm. and whether I pay £10 a month or not so that's one so now when you have only fans right these girls they're, they're out there putting their, their, their body parts on show or whatever mm. for 19.99, right it's not taxed mm. right the government can't get it they're trying to, but they can't get it. Mm. So some of them make money. Bank. You know what I mean? So we're talking, an average nine to five is about 100, 150 pound, right? Mm-hmm. She can show her ass once and get about okay, a grand get it. and then she can go to Tesco or whatever. Like you don't even know who she is. Whoa. You just see her, right? So then if I go, I'm tired of labels, right? And I want to do, example, what Jamie's done, for example. Bro. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, my music is just going to be on vinyl, on like vinyl, he did yeah. on his on his own. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, CDs, That's yeah. an only fan because I've got my vinyl and it's going to be only in Rhythm Division or in somewhere in Shoreditch. I'll, you don't message me personally. I'm going to tell you where to go to get it. I'm going to charge £20 for these vinyls. I charge Yo. £20. I'm only putting 200 yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. and that's it. Mm. Right? You all get it. Then I give that service to. Mm. Then I say to um, Apple or Spotify, "Hey, do you want my music now? Because mm. my real fans have already listened to it a month ago, mm. which is that's literally sick. what he did. If I'm not lying, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty much that's that like thing. a that's like an only fan. So now, say we're in a in a label situation mm. and we can't do anything, so I go to Tank, bro. There's like we literally only have one thousand followers, mm. yeah. And I want to say followers, I mean like followers. Mm. I don't mean Instagram followers. I mean really. If I was, Devotees. yeah, I'm mm. talking, yeah. if I'm selling the jacket, they'll yeah. all buy it, right? So if I say, forget uh, Spotify, forget iTunes or whatever, you lot come, mm. here's a Dropbox or, or Bandcamp or whatever. Yeah. You pay £15.99, yeah? Right, you get the new album, you get photos. Some of you might even pick get picked to come to the video shoot or whatever. Mm. So for the whole year, that's what we're running. Now, if I'm selling it, £20, 
1,000 fans, that's 20 mm-hmm. bags. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I've just made 20 grand off that. But bear in mind that a lot of distribution deals will only offer you 20 grand anyway. Mm-hmm. Right? So I just made 20 grand. But now let's say I'm shot in a hoodie. Yeah. Tracksuit, like we do, we sell mm. tracksuits. So the tracksuit is about 60 pounds. Now, if I, a thousand people, 60 pounds, that's 60 grand. Mm. Technically. Ooh. That's an OnlyFan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Do you get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, I get what but it's to get to that what, level. And I'll take that back then, yeah. That, yeah a few that people, I was yeah. laughing before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but a few people are at that level. And I feel like eventually it will be like that, where everyone's, it's like the stock market. Everyone's getting signed. Everyone's buying property, mm. blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then there was a crash, right? Yeah. So it's like the same thing where labels are going to go, oh, man, we wasted a hundred bags on this new drill artist. He was dead anyway, mm. right? Now we don't want to sign no one. Mm. But in the meantime, in the midst of that little storm, we still have our little fans. Mm. Jamie still has his little fans. Skepta still has his little fans. And Skepta is just like, you know, 8 p.m., meet me in Shoreditch House right now. £10 to get in. First 200. Forget wow. £10. Mm. £200 to get mm. in. First 20 people. You're telling me 20 people won't pay a £100 ticket? Don't they pay a £100? Yeah. Of okay. them. And then that's it. That's it. So it's it, now it's a only fan. It's a form of only fan. And I wish, like, you can get to that status that people like Major Lazer do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think any, like, Major Lazer would need a, a tour yeah. manager. Mm, they no. can literally go, we are in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, 8 p.m., first hundred people Imagine doing a show. Yeah. That would be mad. Mad. The police is probably going to shut them down. But, but you know what, that's going to be more like the case because of the COVID thing and the restrictions and the kind of fight that there is between the arts mm-hmm. yeah. and the, the system. Yeah, that's yeah, going yeah. to be. Yeah. That's going to be like that's the new underworld. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Ooh. Eventually, it could well be that. It's like um, you know, football free agents. The, the term for it is Bosman something mm. because there was a player called Bosman or whatever that wanted to come out of his contract. Yeah, but he couldn't, so okay. he he waited for the last year of his contract to negotiate. Uh, his next move mm. bearing in mind 20 years ago you couldn't do that yeah. football. you would have to terminate, finish your contract, contract then negotiate now oh. players can negotiate while they're in a contract Man. but it only happened because something happened mm. so it's kind of like the same thing it's like if the label's like nah man you can't you can't make an album um, cool I won't make an album I'll just make 10 songs <laughs> right? and, and then I just call, put them on a playlist and then yeah for my mm. or or instead of putting it on SoundCloud I'm going to do my own app. Mm. Just like Audio Max is an app, SoundCloud is an app, Spotify is an app. You can create an app. You, you can go on Alibaba an and create yeah. an app. You, yeah. you agree with me, done, right? Done, yeah. yeah. I want an app where I can put my music on and people will need to subscribe for it to get that music. You're telling me that's yeah. not possible? That is well, possible. That's the future. Okay. That is possible. So we're all in agreement that it's possible. What's that, pro- what's that producer's name that done it before? <clears throat> I forgot his name. You used to laugh at him all the time, but he's actually quite cool. Oh, I forgot to, say, to laugh at him. Well, the know. piano man, the what the, the he's g- not piano. He's like he's just a good producer, like but it's from like what, he always Scott wears Starch glasses or something. And he like he does like <laughs> little Scott videos. Starch. He doesn't wear glasses. He does little videos like there's so many videos that we've watched in the past where it's like he brings. Oh, a fan. Rand Leslie. That's Rand it. Leslie is a perfect Rand example. Leslie. See, oh man, no, Rand, Rand Leslie is he's like he's dope, man. But yeah. he's funny as well, American. Yeah. But he, he does that. He, he does that. He yeah. does his things like, yo, I'm going to call in 10 fans right now. You're going to come. Yo, you are going to listen to my album. Yo, I'm going to rent this place right now. Uh, I don't know, um, the downstairs of a pub. And I'm going to get the first 100 people. So Ryan Leslie is a perfect Sick. example of that. So he yeah. made... Look, up, look it up. Money-wise, money-wise, right? So he's not as big as your, 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 your Dre's and so on. But mm. Ryan Leslie was basically tired of trying to get deals. Mm. And he just started building his own fan base. So he had like a, almost like a like a Beyonce little cult of people that just fought with him. So it's like, That's sick. I've got my album. It's not coming out on the label. Do you not want to hear it? Mm. Link me here. Or here's my finger here. Da, 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 sign up. Wow. So we, ahead yeah. of the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was, the, that was, I kid you not, that was like 10, 10 years 15 ago. years ago. Jesus. Yeah. So imagine now, like if that was to happen in this day and age, but obviously with what we have. But Jamie's album was the case. Yeah, that's right. Um, I didn't listen to it until, until he came on Apple Music, yeah. but I think you checked it I out. Bu- I bought the CD. I just yeah. went and bought the CD. Like, but that's just, what I'm saying. So he's pre- tank had the chance to listen to it because that's the select few because mm. maybe my man got tired of wow. 
of labels. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's the select few that gets to, to listen to it. And it's like, There's yeah, a hardcore, stop, stop. hardcore yeah. of his audience. You know what I'm saying? Ones. And then that worked, just like when he was doing the Boy Ben All Hats for 100 and he only made like, 20 limit. hats. Yeah. And, a boy bear no hat is a hundred pounds. It's like, why would you pay a hundred pounds for a boy bear no hat? But there's a guy that will pay that mm. because when everyone else sees it, it's exclusive. That's the whole point of the word exclusivity. Right? Yeah. It's it's that. It's like for only one, mm. one of twenty. Mm. You know, it's like a, a Marvel mm. book or whatever. Like mm. th- yeah. that's it. There's only I've got issue one. Oh, I've got issue twenty. Oh, we're both nerds, mm. but it works. Mm. That's the little niche. That's mm. the game. Yeah, no, it's true. So yeah. While I'm saying it, I'm getting ideas as well. Yeah, so no, I see that very soon. Yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah. what it is, you know. Or just to plug it out there, like we're doing something similar with USB sticks. So we're yeah. going to put um, some some of our sound pack <laughs> on a USB stick with um, unheard some songs, unheard songs, or people that might be previewed to the album before mm. the rest. Yeah. But just want to test the waters and see if people. Damn. Are. Yeah. Which means that's got to come out before October. Brainstorming while we're doing this. See, I love this. (laughs) You guys should be doing a podcast yourself. It's like all these brainstorming things, you know. Yeah, but there you go. Insightful stuff. Then in a in a year's time, we'll mention that we had the idea here and it came out here. But that's the whole point. This is what this is what it means by twenty four seven. Because speaking to you, we just Mm. the the idea came back, and I just remembered yo. Yeah, it needs to come out I love before it. the album. I love and it. And the album's November, so that needs to come out a month before. So, mm. boom. Thanks for the date. <laughs> yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's it. It's, good, yeah, to, it's good to talk. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, good, good to talk. Guys, thank you so much. No worries, man. I'm going to leave you pondering inspiration <laughs> through through the vehicle of podcasting. <laughs> more ideas. Yeah, more ways. More ways Trust to me. slay and destroy the industry with <laughs> Alright, before I go, really quick, before I go, do it. Has anyone told you you look a bit like Russell Brand without hair? Ooh, really? Russell Brand, hear that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Russell Brand, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Russell Brand vibe. I love yeah, that. Right. Oh, you love been, it? You, no, not, yeah, no way, man. No way. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming like at his peak career when he was nah I'm talking all drugged up no I'm trying I'm talking I'm Russell Brand with Katy Perry level like, oh that's yeah, alright yeah, then yeah good, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah good, I'd good, like good. to yeah that's right it's just <laughs> the suave pirate sophistication there you go that's right go. ladies and gentlemen a heavy track is big yeah, shout yeah, yeah, boys thanks thank you so that's much right. gentlemen yeah, thanks for that. Thanks. Dons, thank you so much. Killer Keller Podcast did it again, all right? Hold tight, heavy trackers. Don't forget, check the boys out. Check all their gear. they got all that. It's a cult following business over here, all right? And we're dealing that on the Killer Keller <laughs> Podcast, all right? <laughs> you stay lucky, people. Don't talk to any strange ones. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome.